I have not cleaned up my shop because I really haven't been working in here. Well, that's not exactly accurate. I have been working in here, but the work that I've been doing is outside on my house. I've been building decks and stairs and so on and so forth and putting siding on. And some of the cutting I've been doing in here and just leaving it. So <laughs> you can see quite a big mess once again. And it was really just a week ago that I, I had this all cleaned up. But in spite of the mess, I've decided to do an In the Workshop video. And the topic for this one will be well, what's left of my wooden clamp, C-clamp, that I made. And the tortilla roller that I made around about the same time. I think it was April. I think both of these were around April last year. Well, we'll start with the clamp, um, and here's the rest of it here. It's the part of my wooden bookends. A bunch of us got together, you know, made wooden bookends at the same time. And mine were the most hated, I think, because of various reasons. I went into that in more detail in another video on my other channel, and that wasn't well received either, so you can't win. Anyway. I made this clamp specifically for this bookends project. The idea was that I would make this beautiful clamp and then cut it up in the same video as the bookends. It didn't quite work out that way. It was getting a little bit too long. Uh, making the clamp took longer than I expected. Well, when I got to editing it, that is. So I didn't include it. Instead, I made a separate video showing how I made the clamp. Now, the number one question I got from people is uh, why did I cut it up? You know, what was wrong with the clamp? Well, there was really nothing physically wrong with the clamp. It, you know, it was what it was. The only problem you'll have with this kind of construction right here, this is laminated around this curve here like this. And whenever you're putting pressure on something with something else, the, the uh, force that you have to worry about is tension. Tension is the one that's going to tear things apart. Uh, most materials resist compression uh, a lot better than tension. It will try to separate these layers, especially right in here. Because as the ends push apart, it will be pulling up on this. And I didn't give it a real test. I can't say for certain how much you know, pressure it could exert, but I know that that would eventually happen. Wood has limitations. And it also has best applications. You need to use it in the best way possible that, you know, utilizes its strength in the best way. And this is simply not one of it. This looked better than it actually was. The other thing I wanted to do with the wooden clamp build was to demonstrate the method for curving this um, without steam. Usually you curve wood with a steam bender or whatever. If you just cut them thin enough, and soak them in warm water, it doesn't even have to be warm, it can be cold if you soak them longer. Then take them and clamp them into that shape and let them dry out. In this case, I think I let them dry two days, two full days before I took it out of the clamp and glued it up. What that does is it puts the bend in it before you start so that when you put it back in the clamp with glue, you're not messing around. You can get everything lined up properly and really clamp it in tight without you know worrying about breaking it. Next my tortilla roller which I made actually I made this uh, off camera and just showed bits and pieces of it. It's something I I thought about at the time and so I did it. I've used it uh, quite a bit since but not as much lately as I had been because well I got on a tortilla binge at the time and you know homemade ones are the best so I made this to do that now the basic idea behind this is that I add this part up here you put the dough on the top of the roller and then you roll it through and it presses it and then you close the rollers a bit together and roll it through again a lot of people have said well okay that's not a real tortilla press the press has the lever and all that and like I said in the video I tried that method I didn't have any luck with it uh, pressing the tortilla flat enough, as flat as I wanted it. I wanted it like a sixteenth of an inch thick, and I don't know how much pressure I would have to put on the thing that I made to do that. I couldn't do it. And the other thing was, it would always stick 
right onto the thing. If I put plastic wrap in there, it would stick to that. Didn't matter if I made the dough a lot drier, it wouldn't stick, but then it would be really, really, really hard to push it down enough to get it thin enough. So I made this, this works great. The only thing is, if I were to do it again, which I'm going to do, I would make the rollers two stage so that the top ones here start to you make it thin and then the next ones down finish that so that as you're turning the crank you're turning four rollers that will make the final talk uh, tortilla. I had a rake video the other day and I was surprised that it was as well received as it was. I didn't think it would get any views. A lot of people liked it. Um, it's just something I decided to do spur of the moment type thing. I needed to use the rake and you know the damn thing is broken. It wasn't 100% broken because I had fixed it but it was broken to the point where it's it's really awkward to use with that head moving like that. So fix it up like that. This is something that I would normally do almost you know whenever I needed to do it and before I wouldn't you know videotape it. It's just something that I did. On my other channel I made a quick video about making this broom this was something that came about from my test on this channel, you know, the knife edge retention test, where I cut up the rope. Uh, I did it again with my other knife uh, and cut the pieces three inches long this time to glue into this piece of, well, it's two by four almost. It's a piece of two by six cut down to four inches wide. And I used construction adhesive to glue them in. After I melted the ends, melting the ends keeps the strands together. And I haven't had a chance to use it much yet, but it's going to break in. And what I mean by break in is these ropes are going to come on twisted and it's all going to even up here, especially if you use it on concrete, like the concrete floor here in the shop. It will all even up. These bristles from the rope, I think, are just the right stiffness for sweeping a floor. You get stiffer ones for cleaning decks, you know, if you get, you know, uh, uh, some kind of a... Uh, solution that you want to scrub the the muck off your deck with this one is a little bit softer than that and it's perfect for you know conforming to the deck boards and getting all the crap out so if you haven't seen that video i'll put a link in the description to go check it out fun video about four minutes long not a lot to it um whenever i release a new video on my channel it seems like i get comments from people saying well i'm loving the new uh, editing style and there's really nothing different in that video. I added in some music. Um, I've been progressively getting better at editing. I, I realize that but basically it's the same type of thing as I've been doing for the past well three years. Just a progression gets a little bit better every time. For those of you that have subscribed to this channel that aren't aware, I do have two other channels. My main channel, which uh, I reserve for the kind of video that you know I did here with the broom, full build videos, and I've got this channel for random stuff. I want to keep this as loose as possible. I'll talk about other projects. I'll talk about things. I'll do small projects. I'll do multi-part projects on this channel to get a little bit more in depth and detail. And I'll do weird stuff that a lot of people like to thumbs down <laughs> for some reason. I've got that and I've also got a home reno channel. That's taking up all my time right now with the house that I'm uh, renovating. My house that I bought two years ago. Actually two years ago around about this time. Uh, it was the 5th or 6th of May I moved in two years ago. And it's been a steady progression since. Uh, I started out rebuilding this workshop actually from a garage into what you see around you right now, minus the mess. And I started at that time also on the house and I started making videos at that time also on the renovation of the house. I took a little bit of a break from it over the winter because I was kind of burned out, but I'm back to it now. Videos are going up there regularly and there's a link in the description to that channel as well. One other thing before I wrap this up is I've been getting notes from people saying that they receive their t-shirts and they like them and I much appreciate the support that you've given me on that. Um, I'm thinking about doing it again in the fall, maybe towards September or maybe October, but 
to do that, I want to include you guys a little bit more in it. I'm actually thinking about making a t-shirt design contest. Whoever gives me the best design, you know, for the I build it idea, uh, that's the one that will be used on the t-shirts to go on the sale. And you'll get yours for free, t-shirt, hoodie, whatever. We'll work out the details on that later. Tell me what you think of that. Would you be interested in something like that? I know there's a lot of creative people out there. I'm pretty creative myself, but when it comes to this stuff, I get kind of uh, kind of a block, actually, and I can't think of anything good. It's kind of strange because I can look at other people's stuff and I can think of something good, my own stuff, you know. What are you going to do? Anyway, hope you liked it and see you next time.